food up there. Dion working in front receiving the doles and rewarding them. We've got the good stuff, so it should work. We are working with Rowan, Apollo, and Kaitu. They're all brothers. They are three years old. They're moving to the Bronx Zoo. So we are working on a crate training session. We've been crate training these guys for a few weeks, uh, two sessions a day, six days a week, to get them comfortable enough to come into their crate. Come on, Kito. These dolls might look like your domestic dog, but these are exotic animals. They're actually found in a lot of areas that tigers are found, in Asia and Indonesia. They live in large packs. They climb up on trees. They can jump over 10 feet. Come on, boys. These are not dogs in your regular neighborhood. Come on, boys. Here he comes. Good boy. He's close. Training them to come into these crates is not an easy process. Hey, guys. Come on, boys. Yep. These dogs are the most difficult animals I've ever worked with. Just their personalities, their shyness. They take a lot more patience. Good boy. If you made it that far, you can get in this crate. You don't have a calm moment with a doll. They are always at a level 12. You're OK. They're skittish, timid, and shy, and will always run first and ask questions later. Come on. All right, good boy. Oh, you silly goose. So difficult, yes. Fun, absolutely. Good boy. He's moving out of the way for his brother. Anything out of the ordinary. Dolls are just are super suspicious. We'll just work with them and positive reinforcement. Good boy. At this point, it's all about just building their confidence and making them comfortable. All right, you guys got diet. You're all done. Good, done. They'll be ready by the time we ship them. There he goes. Happy little dolls. Yep, happy dolls. <laughs> exhibit was built for Dole, which they look pretty cute. Oh, that's it. All right, so let's go with the tubs first. Right now, we're just uh, getting ready for um, our Dole, which are arriving tonight. Let's go get the uh, den set up. This is where they'll be staying until quarantine period is over. We're making sure that the air conditioning is working properly so that it's nice and cool once we put the crates in here with the dough. Last straw bell. It's really exciting to see how it's going to play out. OK. Today's the day. The plan's going to be. Ian and I will get the food, get some ice packs. Yep. Since it is so hot and the dogs are so sensitive, I mean, it's 100 degrees today. As soon as they're crated up, we'll call you guys on the radio and you guys are clear to come up, move them to the air conditioning in the van, and then get them to the airport. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Go team. Today's the Super Bowl for dole moves. We've been working for months of getting these guys comfortable in the crates and keeping the stress levels as low as we can. Let's go feed some dogs. OK, gate is secure. Hi, boys. Boys, you're getting access. Hi, boys. Hey. Oh, Rowan's a good boy. Come on, Row. Okay. Rowan's good. Can do. Come on, Paul. Good boy. Okay. Hey, bud. Good. Rowan's sticking. Yeah. Hello. Come on. Close Closing the row in. A little fast. Fast. Who is the good dolls? Kitty. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
tattoos in. Copy. Good. They really are chill once they're in. We're going to give the doll access to the exhibit this morning. If they do come out and are comfortable and stay out, you guys can kind of one at a time come in and see them. But I'd like at least one person up there so that we have somebody on the shift door at all times, just in case. You're always a little anxious when you put animals into exhibit for the first time. Especially, this is a species that we haven't worked with before, and that's an exhibit that we've renovated specific to their needs. So, you know, there's always this little bit of anxiousness to see if it turns out the way that you planned it. All right, so my thought is we open both shift doors, give them that's access, thinking. and just let them just let it chew. And then I think I kind of want to just like step back and not be right on top of them. Keto. One's out. One's out? Behind that rock. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't take long. That didn't take <laughs> long at all. From watching them for a while now and working with them, we've seen how their behavior amongst each other is different. Rowan definitely seems to be the more dominant one still. Keto's actually been a little bit surprising. He's kind of been coming up a little bit more so. And Apollo seems to be one, the one that hangs back. Up, oh, there's two of them. They don't look nervous. I would say wary, but not yeah, nervous. Yeah, yeah. They look really nice. That looks like Apollo. Go on, Papa. Good boy. Go on, go with your brothers. All three are out. Yep, all three are out. Look, there he goes, Pat. Yeah. Nice. Oh, how so cute. great up there. <laughs> I love that they use the high spots. Yeah. I mean, clearly, they're going to the high spots because they're comfortable with the vantage point. Yep. I have all three of them out. And moving around is as much as you can ask for.